From a possessed mechanical clown to a film that caused the deaths of multiple people, here are the top five movie sets that were actually haunted. Number five on this list is at Took. This movie isn't one that you're going to be able to find on Netflix or anything like that, and let me tell you why. Insider says, if you've never heard of Atuk, that's because this movie was so cursed, it never actually got made. Ironically, it wasn't even supposed to be a scary movie. A comedy about an Inuit hunter using traditional techniques to survive in an urban environment. It's not the movie you would immediately suspect is ripe for a cursing. Yet, many of the actors who were signed on to play the lead role have died prematurely, including John Belushi, Chris Farley, and John Candy. Actors who were cast in supporting roles weren't immune either, with Phil Hartman also facing a violent and tragic early end after being attached to the film. It's definitely a bit of a stretch to suggest that this movie was somehow involved in the deaths of these actors, but it is quite an incredible coincidence that they all met an early demise after getting involved. In any case, it's certainly interesting that multiple attempts to develop and produce this movie have never come to fruition. I think it's also certainly interesting that people who keep trying to make this movie keep freaking dying. Like, why is this happening? I understand that it seems like a bit of a stretch to say this movie has anything to do with it, but what the heck else could it be? How many times did just a bunch of people start doing a thing and dying right when they start it? Like, I feel as if this doesn't happen that often, guys, and somehow, some way, this movie or maybe the script has something to do with it. Maybe the director or the producer or the writer of this movie is cursed, and that's why they were never able to actually get it done. Rest in peace to everyone who tried to make this thing. I'm sure it would have been a funny movie, but I think it's best for everyone everyone involved if we call it quits before more people end up getting hurt. Number four on this list is The Conjuring. They haven't been able to make a movie in this series yet without something going wrong. Insider says pretty much every movie in The Conjuring universe has had some spooky happenings on set. Based loosely on the real experiences of paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, all Conjuring movies were absolutely terrifying. There have been so many reports of strange and paranormal happenings on the sets, it's hard to pick just one. They're all equally creepy. Annabelle had reports of light fixtures falling on actors, and The Conjuring had actors finding mysterious bruises on their bodies. But the paranormal activity on the set of The Nun was especially interesting because this is one of the few cases where there was just a good old-fashioned haunting on the set. Director Corin Hardy stated that he encountered two spirits while filming on location at a fortress in Romania. He stepped into a room while the cameras were rolling and found two people he assumed were crew members. When the camera stopped rolling and he turned around, they were gone. This one isn't exactly fair, I guess, because yeah, they were ghost encounters on set, but they were also shooting on location in a very old fortress, so it's very possible those ghosts were there for other reasons, and the movie was just also happening to film at that location. Still, having a direct encounter with a ghost on the set of a horror movie you're directing is enough to unsettle anyone. Whether they were from the castle or from the movie, it really doesn't matter to me. All that matters is that they were there, and that is enough to make any and freak the heck out. Next time you watch The Conjuring movies, you can walk into it knowing that there was also something else afoot other than the spooky stuff on screen. Number three on this list is Poltergeist. Of course, one of the scariest horror movies has one of the scariest sets. Insider says Poltergeist is a creepy movie, sure, but it doesn't have the shock value of R-rated horror movies. The visual effects haven't exactly held up well, and plenty of horror films get made without any unusual happenings. So why, might you ask, would the set of Poltergeist have been haunted? Look no further than the props. As it was far too expensive to make realistic looking rubber and plastic skeletons, they opted to use real human skeletons on set for the scene in which actors Joe Beth Williams is pulled into the mud of her swimming pool by a bunch of skeletons. Honestly, this seems like a reckless move. You're just asking to be cursed, and cursed it was. In the scene in which a clown puppet gets possessed and strangles the Freeling's young son, Robbie, 
things went awry. During the filming of the scene, the mechanical clown puppet that was created to simulate the strangulation malfunctioned and actually started choking the actor during a take. Writer-producer Steven Spielberg had to jump in and rescue the child actor from his inanimate attacker. This obviously raised some red flags to the people working on the set and paranormal experts, but rumors really started spiraling when several of the people who worked on the film died pretty much right after they were done filming. Two of the cast members from the original died right after they finished the movie, and then two more cast members died in a similar timeline after filming the sequels. Nowadays, people are scared about making another sequel because of whatever it is that's going on. Maybe it wasn't just a mechanical malfunction when that clown started going off after all. Number two on this list is The Exorcist. This is often considered one of the scariest movies of all time. Insider says The Exorcist has a reputation for being one of the scariest movies of its time, perhaps of all time. If any movie was haunted or cursed in reality, it had been this one. There were tons of things that went wrong on set, from set malfunctions to two different actresses sustaining significant injuries during stunts gone wrong. This led many to believe that there was some malicious entity on set giving filmmakers a hard time. Perhaps the biggest evidence of supernatural meddling was a suspicious fire that forced the production to rebuild much of the set. It was theorized that a bird flew into some electrical equipment on set, but the resulting fire destroyed a large section of the set while mysteriously leaving Reagan's room set alone. If you've seen The Exorcist, you know that that room was the area the demon most frequently occupied in the film. The superstition around this film is so great, some believe it's dangerous to even play the movie. Doing so invites negative entities to toward you as the urban legend goes, similar to using a Ouija board. When the fear literally extends all the way to people even watching the movie, that's when you know that something is seriously up. I personally think that something paranormal had to be going on here. Maybe the reason that the movie was so scary and blew so many people away is because they managed to capture some of the real evil energy. Maybe that's why every time people watch it, it just spooks us to our cores. Obviously, it's just a theory, but it might make sense. Number one on this list is The Omen. This movie was just doomed from the start. Screen Rant says, The Omen is yet another film that is notorious for having a haunted production. To start off, the original star of the film, Gregory Peck, and executive Mark Newfield both traveled in planes that were struck by lightning. Peck then shot himself in the head a few months before shooting was set to start. One scene was filmed at a zoo, which focuses on the reactions of baboons. The baboons were so wild that an animal trainer had to be brought on set, but the animal trainer died the next day after a tiger got hold of his head. One of the special effects technicians named John Richardson got into a car accident about a month after the film was released, and while he survived, his passenger, Liz Moore, was beheaded. What the heck? It seems like everything that could have possibly went wrong did in fact go wrong for this movie. Like, we had multiple people who didn't even make it to the set for multiple reasons. I personally have never seen The Omen before, so if you've watched it, please let me know in the comments. What the heck was it about this movie that would have set something off? And was it clear that something was wrong while you were watching the movie? I'd love to hear it. But there you have it, folks. That is a list of the top five movie sets that were actually haunted. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other haunted movie sets that you might know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I will catch you next time. <laughs>